Namaste. Welcome. For today, let's reinforce the practice of Dandasana by creating more space, and lightness, mobility, and helps in the spine. So this will help especially men because for obvious reasons we have more volume there. So by adjusting our body parts, we release the stagnation of body parts getting in the way of the position. All right, sitting in Sukhasana. All right, breathe up the spine nice and tall, and exhale. All right, and then release the position a bit so you can move the body. Yeah. So lifting one side and then move your groin region away from the the, the inner thigh. So really use your hand uh, to cup your genital organs and then pull everything to the midline. Right? And then cup the bottom side of it, slide it forward and throw it up. Yeah. So like you wanna release your genital region away from the inner hip. Right, use the hand to do that and pull everything up by cupping your testicles and slide it forward and up. Now cup the bottom side of your genital region close to the anus. And at the same time, move your inner thigh to a light external rotation. You know, like you just want to open it out, but you, know, you don't want to crunch or compress the low back. So to counter the action, slide your tail back a bit and move the tail down to the floor right. so the the movement of the groin region and the inner thigh apart yeah, will have to be countered by sliding the tail back and down yeah, so you keep the spine lower spine particularly neutrally open All right. as we create more mobility in the front part of our hips, really close to the femur bone, where the origin of the Kandasana is happening. All right, so the other side, let's do that, yeah. Left, slide, use the hand, cup, yeah, you, you, you really have to cup your genital region for men, yeah. Cup, inhale, you will feel the side of your uh, waistline go thin, bottom side, inhale hips back and then sit and then do that a few more times yeah until you feel you will feel it like the lower spine the hips they go free and open feels good actually all right now it doesn't stop there we need to sort out the rest of our spine yeah so from the big ribs down here yeah so from the origin of the action as you coil everything in and out and yeah, that's the byproduct yeah as you move the groin region in and up, in and up, essentially you will feel the waistline go narrow and deep. All right. So what you're gonna do now is to lift your breath up, so it lengthens the spark of your spine. All right. Close to your thoracic region, still part of your lumbar spine. All right. So from the tail. You lengthen it, and then from the upper lower back, you lengthen it further up until this part of your ribs, the big ribs. All right, so it, it is open, it's not rounded because in the Kandasana later on, you won't be able to you know, move your lower back too much, and you don't want to be doing that. You know, so, by preparing it right away before the position itself. You lengthen it, you keep it supported all throughout the process. All right, so you don't round, you don't crunch, you don't tighten the lower back. Now from here, it's the opposite. All right, so as the lower regions of the spine you know, coils in and up, from the big ribs up, it opens forward, up and back. All right, so the chest opens, the thoracic spine opens, yeah, but you don't fight it. It is not the chest moving forward, yeah, but it's your spine lifting up yeah, to make room for the chest to open and the shoulders to relax behind. It is also not the chest initiating it, yeah, but it's the hips and the rest of your structure in the bottom part of the spine 
that allows the chest and the rest of your thoracic region to organically open. So we don't approach it from the chest. And we approach it from the origin of the position, which is the hips, and even the calf muscles would have to be adjusted as well. And you have to breathe through it. All right, so let's do that. And cross a bit, side to side. Lifting one side, open, down. I won't be able to do it myself here. Um, so let me just talk you through it, but inside I could you know, access it, yeah? In and up. But the spot, in and up. Coil in and up. The chest, open. The shoulders relaxes in the back. All right, and then, yeah? Loosen. That created a space already. Now, repeat the process in the Badakonasana. Lift, up, down. Lift the hip, pull the groin inwards, manually lift your genital organs upwards, out, but the tail back, the inner thigh slides back, but the rest of your outer thigh open up. Well, from here, coil in, rise up. Exhale. Right. Just allow the chest to open. Breathe through it. Yeah. Side to side. Right. Exhale. Relax. Inhalation. Going to the position from that openness yeah, actually feels good. There is really no pain at all. Yeah, the feet can move. The hip region can move. Yeah. And if you feel like any imbalances, you can repeat the process actually from here. Yeah. In, you may use the hand to adjust your groin region. Keep moving up. This one, you may use the hand. Our hands are very healing. If we use our hands in the process of enjoying the position, practicing it, yeah, we feel our bodies. Yeah. Because sometimes. Yeah, the mind gets really so intelligent, but when we use the physical sensation, we really go inwards. Good. Allow this to open. Feel the energy rise. Yeah. And yes, here. Yeah. So light. Yeah, no pain. And then while you're holding the position, you might actually do repeat the process. Yeah. You might use the hand to adjust, manually adjust your you know, groin region. And you might even massage the, the space yeah. between the right and the left side of your groin region. Yeah. The, the sockets of the inner thigh close to the pubic bone. That will help you reinforce the energetic function of the Kandasana, which is to stimulate the hips. Right, and then keep the breath rising up, 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 up. You may let the hand and the arms hang up. Yeah, meditate upon the presence of the, the force. You may lightly open up the throat. And then fold the throat lightly in. And send your awareness inside the brain. Kandasana is more than just stabilizing the hips. Yeah? It's a good and powerful way for us to channel the Kundalini energy up to enter the um, nervous system. Because in here, the spine is really open inside. There's no way but for the inner system to support you. And the mind it's less involved, it's your sensation. Really, the deepest aspect are about feeling it and not thinking it. All right, and then when you're ready to release, same, breathing in, coil in and up. Let this open, exhale, inhale. The release is an inhalation, so you keep that energetic buoyancy inside to keep us supported 
as we release the position. Right, and then from there, yeah, loosen the legs, side to side, side to side. When you move side to side, the hips adjust organically. And then use the hands to lightly move away from your feet and release the position of the way. Yeah. So that's a good way. Yeah. For us to open the hips, support the lower back, support the rest of the spine, let the breath flow. Again, Kandasana is more than just stimulating the hips. It's a powerful way to send the energy up. It's a powerful way to energize the inner brain. Till the next time. Namaste.